senior student on campus at Oneonta. These pillars meant to be something special for you. Especially when you arrive through these pillars as a new student, and then as a graduating senior, you cross through the opposite way. Everybody has a joyful experience when crossing through these pillars as a student. The Pillars of Suni Oneonta, one of the most iconic and historical remains of the Suni Oneonta campus. Every semester during late August or January, New students cross through these pillars forwardly to start a new life as a student at SUNY Oneonta. For graduating seniors, every December or May before the day of graduation, students cross through these pillars the other way as a celebration of finishing their journey as a student at SUNY Oneonta. The tradition is known as Pass Through the Pillars. It's been celebrated for more than 17 years. But how did it all start? Why do people celebrate this tradition of passing through the pillars? I told librarian Heather Stalter, who agreed to speak with me about the history of the pillars and the tradition itself. Yeah, okay, so the passing of the pillars is really an important tradition, and it, it does actually go back, just like you said, all the way to 1889 when the Oneonta Normal School was first founded. And um, the original school. Yes, school. yes, the original, the original school. And at that time, the, um, there was only one building on campus, and it was, we referred to it as the first old main. And um, so all of the classes and all of the professors' offices um, and like everything was in this one building. There are pillars, of course, uh, that students and faculty and the administrators would walk through every single day. Um, so, this was 1889, and everything was going really great uh, until 1894, when there was a tragic fire, which uh, basically burned the building to the ground, and it, it, nothing could be saved. Uh, nobody was hurt, so this is good, um, but they had to just demolish the building. Um, so that was, that was quite a blow. Um, but at the time, uh, James Milne was the principal. He was responsible for keeping everybody um, positive, and they had classes the next day in a few buildings downtown. And under his leadership, the building was rebuilt in less than a year, bigger and better and even more beautiful. And there were pillars in the, in the front of this building as well. The symbolic... Um, meaning behind the passing of the pillars is that uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of students and faculty and um, everybody coming in and out of the building um, and in and out of only on to normal school and then you know as it changed names until what we have now SUNY Oneonta um, and students um, you know Standing there, the students would sit on the steps and study when the weather was nice. Um, but then we fast forward again to 1977. There were a lot of the new buildings on campus, like the building we're in now, and Morris, and like Netzer. And so all these new modern buildings. Um, so Old Main was falling into disrepair at the same time. And then in 1977, it was sold and then eventually demolished, which is heartbreaking. Um, but somebody, uh, actually a group of people, had the foresight to save the pillars. Right. And so, yeah, they were set aside in storage. And then later yeah. on in, in 1981, um, the pillars were being put um, into the area where they are now, like, which is like right between like the Fitzdale Hall and, um, and the, um, and the Fine Arts Center. Yes, so actually though, um, I can't remember what year it was, but they were in a, when I started 17 years ago, the, the pillars were in a different spot. And I can't remember where they were. It wasn't that far away from where they are now. Um, so they have, they have moved a few times. Right. Yeah. 
So yeah, it's uh, it's quite something, and it's it's really special that we still have them. Um, and when you walk as freshmen through the pillars coming into the college, basically, and then as you pass through them as um, seniors, um, as it's. Seniors. As seniors, it's the opposite way. Yes, ex right, it is, it is. Yeah, to symbolize, you know, the going out into the world. So, uh -huh. yeah, it's, uh, so, yeah, thousands and thousands before you, you know, have. Before uh, me and lots of other students at Simon yeah. Yonsa today. Yeah, it's uh, very special, quite special. And, uh, like, if anybody's interested, um, in seeing the photographs or, you know, we do actually have a few pieces of the furniture from the old main here in this room, in the Alden room. Um, it's like, it's, you know, it's, we're looking to the future, but we have such strong ties to the past that kind of, I don't know, make us strong and, you know, it's something to build off of. Right. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And the past through the pillars, the uh, tradition is almost 20 years old about so yeah and i imagine it will just keep going forever on the day of december 4th 2021 just one day before the fall commencement ceremony i attended my last and final pass through the pillars the celebration kind of started with loud music and the red dragon dancing to the music as a way to celebrate the seniors to congratulate them from suny onianta before the seniors pass through it. those pillars. I'm about to walk up through the pillars for the last time. I had such an amazing time passing through those pillars for the last time as a student at SUNY Oneonta. Hopefully next time when I visit SUNY Oneonta, I'll meet those pillars once again, like I say to them, until we meet again. <laughs>